thought I'd give you a little tour of my pond. We got a really, really hard rain last night. And uh, my pond is really full. And the emergency overflow uh, has been put into use to keep the, um, the berm from getting uh, washed over. So let me show you how all of that works. So the water flowing into the pond comes from the creek, which is over here, which is about 60 feet away from the pond. And I'll show you the inlet. So this is a uh, four inch PVC schedule 40 pipe which just goes down in the creek and uh, accepts the water and then I have it buried underground going to the pond. So it's just a gravity flow system. There's no pumping or anything like that. Buried about a foot under the ground and just empties out right into the pond. So this is where the water comes out from the creek and fills the pond. Now I'm going to show you how the water gets out of the pond, goes back into the creek. Uh, you see this um, this concrete square. There's a six inch pipe in the uh, under the water here that goes through the berm and empties out over here which flows back into the creek. The height of this stand pipe is what determines the height of the water in the pond. So the, high you, the higher you make this standpipe, the higher the water is in the pond. So if I want to lower the level of the water in the pond, all I need to do is cut this back however many inches I want to lower the level in the pond. Just cut that pipe off and it will effectively lower the, the level of the water in the pond. So when this water uh, comes out of this standpipe and just flows right back into the creek, right down the hill. This uh, pipe is flowing at full capacity because we had so much rain last night. And the level of the pond has gotten a little bit too high, it's dangerously high. And the danger comes in is that if the water gets too high, uh, it will overflow this uh, berm which is a man-made berm and if the water overflows and starts flowing over the berm it'll start eroding the berm away and washing it away and then the more it erodes the more water flows eventually the whole berm fails and all of this water uh, in a matter of uh, minutes will wash back down into the creek flooding the creek and causing possible property damage downstream which I would be legally liable for. So we don't want that to happen. So what we do to prevent that is we have uh, like an emergency overflow which you can see uh, right here. This is like a spillway. So normally the water is about nine inches below that dock and as you can see right now we only have about one or two inches below the dock. So the water is excessively high. So when the water gets to that level, it starts overflowing right here. So we have like just a little channel cut right here. And this channel, as you can see, is flowing a lot of water right now. And this channel uh, just goes right back into the creek. So this prevents the level of the pond from ever overflowing its banks. This little um, emergency spillway had gotten full of grass and debris and it wasn't working properly so I just got my little excavator out and uh, cleaned it out and now it's really flowing that excessive water. Oh, Robert's going to operate the excavator now 
he's been uh, I've been training on training him on it but since he doesn't have any thumbs it's, it's very difficult for him and as you can see this water goes right back into the creek okay I just wanted to show you that uh, show you how my pond works this pond's about 10 years old and um, one problem I have with it is that it does leak considerably when the water table is low uh, whenever we get a lot of rain which has been uh, this last year uh, the pond stays full but if we go through a little drought with no rain the pond will start leaking and we have a really rocky soil here and um, the water tends to leak out I used to have uh, rainbow trout in here I stocked it with fingerlings and they grew really quickly and I was able to fish the pond but uh, like I said whenever we have a drought the water level goes way down and the fish can't survive in that you need lots of uh, fresh water fresh cold water and um, without that constant flow from the creek uh, the fish can't survive but the ducks and um, geese love it so that's it I just wanted to give you a little tour of the pond hope you enjoyed it <laughs>